Question 2. DS. Every week, Tom purchases bagels, baguettes, and loaves of bread from a bakery. What is the total number of bread products he purchased from a bakery last week? Condition 1. Tom purchased five bagels and baguettes from a bakery last week. Condition 2. The number of bread products Tom purchases changes every week. Solution. Now we will solve this DS question using the variable approach. Cases in which words and sentences are stated as variables through conversion. When words and sentences are stated as variables through conversion, we know that the most important point is to look at the original condition only while modifying the question. Let's apply the three steps suggested previously. Follow the first step of the variable approach by modifying and rechecking the original condition and the question. We should be able to count the number of variables and equations in the original condition. We have to find the total number of bread products that Tom purchased from a bakery last week. Let the number of bagels, baguettes, and loaves of bread be A, B, and C. And we have to find the value of A plus B plus C. The sentence from the original condition mentions the three variables. You should read the question carefully to find the variables. Follow the second and third steps. From the original condition, we have three variables, A, B, and C. To match the number of variables with the number of equations, we need three equations. Since conditions 1 and 2 will provide one equation each, E would most likely be the answer. Recall three principles. Choose E as the most likely answer. Let's verify our answer by looking at both conditions together. Condition 1 and Condition 2 tell us that A plus B equals 5, and the number of bread products Tom purchases changes every week. With both conditions combined, we cannot get the unique value of A plus B plus C. So, the conditions combined are not sufficient by CMT2, which states that there must be only one answer. Many questions in the actual exam involve cases in which variables are stated, either directly or in the words themselves. The two cases explained above appear in the exam with a similar frequency. Both conditions 1 and 2 together are not sufficient, so E is the correct answer. Answer, E.